On this episode of China Uncensored, China wants to dominate the final frontier, space. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Even though apocalyptic levels of pollution are making China look more and more like a gutter, Chinese officials are still looking at the stars. Maybe they've been reading Oscar Wilde. Anyway, China has ambitious space plans, the kind that would have rivaled the U.S. and the Soviet Union during the Cold War space race. But I've got bad news for China. If they want to claim territory based on ancient Chinese naval exploration, then this flag means the moon belongs to America. Actually, according to the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, the moon doesn't belong to anyone. Except the Decepticon. Yet, despite the risk of being killed by giant robots, China is shooting for the moon. And even if they miss, they'll still land among the stars. So here are five things you should know about China's space program. Number five, the US is really not okay with it. Did you watch the movie, The Martian? Perhaps the most unrealistic part is when the US and Chinese space agencies work together. In reality, the US government has banned NASA from working with China and neither are Chinese nationals allowed to visit NASA facilities without a special waiver. Chinese astronauts, or as they call them, taikonauts, are also barred from the International Space Station. The ban has been in place since 2011, primarily because of an effort by recently retired U.S. Congressman Frank Wolf. He was a major player on the funding committee for NASA since 2001. Wolf was concerned that cooperation between NASA and Chinese space agencies would give them an opportunity to steal U.S. technology, something the Chinese military is in fact doing constantly in a wide variety of U.S. industries. Wolf also said his concern is a moral issue, that with China's human rights record, the U.S. shouldn't be dealing with China at all. Number four, China's military has space ambitions. In the 1980s, the U.S. and Soviet Union were both developing anti-satellite technology. But because blowing up something that's orbiting around the planet creates very problematic clouds of debris, both sides stopped development. For reasons you can see in the movie Gravity. So the international community was a little miffed when China performed its own anti-satellite test in 2007. It created the largest space debris cloud in history after they blew up one of their own aging satellites. That debris is still out there in space. It poses a risk to any other satellite in nearby orbits and any other spacecraft. And that's just the tip of the spaceberg. Earlier in 2015, a U.S. congressional panel issued a report that says China's space program threatens the U.S. military. The report says Chinese military analysts believe space will be the dominant battlefield and that space warfare is inevitable. This involves the Chinese military being able to freely use space and to deny the use of space to adversaries. Number three. China is building a giant ground-based space station in Argentina. Don't worry, it's for exclusively scientific and civilian purposes. The new space base includes a 100-foot wide satellite dish that can track unmanned Chinese vehicles traveling to Mars and the moon. However, despite the surely peaceful intent of China's military-led space operations, the political opposition party in Argentina was concerned that, in addition to tracking Chinese space probes, it could just as easily be used to track U.S. military operations. And that could drag Argentina into a military conflict with the United States, should the Chinese military ever decide to use the base for not scientific and civilian purposes. Number two, China might soon be the only country with an orbiting space station. So in 2024, the International Space Station will be decommissioned and allowed to crash into the ocean. But by 2022, China plans to have completed its own Tiangong Space Lab. If that succeeds, China's Tiangong Space Lab might be the only game in town. Orbit. China originally wanted to be a part of the International Space Station, but with that whole the U.S. won't make space deals with China thing, China decided to build its own. And the U.S., is not invited. It's going to be a modular space station. 
The first part is already in orbit around the planet, though since it's just a prototype, it'll come down. The Tiangong-2 is scheduled for launch later this year. It will be able to house a crew of three people. And in 2022, Tiangong-3 will join it, forming the core of what will be a large modular space station. Other modules, like a lab, can then be sent up and attached. And finally, number one. China may have faked its first spacewalk. Back in 2008, China carried out its first successful spacewalk. Unless you believe they faked the whole thing, which apparently a lot of people do. Now claiming this is fake is a pretty bold statement to make, but the Communist Party didn't do itself any favors when state-run Xinhua released an article containing a dialogue with the astronauts that took place after the successful launch of their rocket. The problem is, that article came out two hours before the launch, and it was dated two days in the future. Oops. Okay, so they pre-wrote a propaganda piece. Well, what do you expect from state-run media? That's what they do. But that still doesn't mean that this footage is necessarily fake. But here's how the argument goes. You see that? Did that look like bubbles to you? The allegation is that this whole thing was actually filmed in an underwater practice tank. That's why you see bubbles. And also, the way the flag waves looks to some people like there's water resistance. But there might also be scientific explanations for those things. Anyway, you can watch the debunking video here if you want. So, what do you think? Real or fake? And what do you think is in store for China's space ambitions? Leave your comments below and subscribe for more thrilling episodes of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. You know the saying, if you build it, they will come? Well, in China, they didn't come. Xi Jinping, Zhou Yang Kong, Mao, 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 Barack Obama, Obama. I love Christmas.